So after uh, half an hour, finally, we're going to get to the game where we can actually play. Showing an awareness of his surroundings. Oh my god, Miranda. I think he's waking up. Hello, Wilson. Wilson. He's not ready yet. Give him the sedative. Hello, Miranda. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Uh -huh. Still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. The steps pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dog. Now. <sighs> Heart rate dropping. Staff falling back into normal range. That was too close. We almost lost him. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. I kind of feel like they should have just left everything blurred. I don't know why his vision is so sharp. I mean, his eyes have been closed for a long time. He probably hasn't used his eye muscles much. Like... Wake up, Commander. He should have trouble, like, focusing on things. His hair looks gray. Shepard, your scars aren't healed, but I need you to get moving. This facility is under attack. There's a pistol in the locker on the other side of the room. Hurry! I really don't like that line of dialogue around about the scars not being healed. By the way, you're gonna see here on the right all of the bonuses that I get from having completed the first game and imported a character. Um, you don't have time to wait shut up! Shepard, shut up! I just want to see all the things that I got. Okay, great. I uh, got this pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. We'll get you a clip from. Damn it! Those canisters by the door are going to blow. Get keep your head down, ship. Shield yourself from the blast. Someone's hacking security, trying to kill you. Look for a thermal clip for your pistol. Game looks great. Um, but yeah, I was saying that writing is weak because you don't need to tell me that my scars aren't healed. I can see that my scars aren't healed. It's the first indication of a problem of the writers, the writers of this game not trusting the player as much. Like, even if you don't tell the player and they don't figure out right away that their scars aren't healed yet, like, what? What does it matter? Let them figure it out. I mean, the only thing I can imagine is that there were some playtesters who thought that they created their shepherd wrong and chose the option for scars when they should have not chosen it, and then. Maybe just cancel the playthrough and went back and and play uh, to the character creation screen again. I could, that's the only reason I can imagine that they put that line of dialogue in, and it, it annoys me. I wish it wasn't there. Looks like they set up a barricade to try holding the mechs off. Yeah, that's another line of dialogue that's just silly. I can see that it's a barricade. You don't need to explain that to me. You know, just do some atmospheric. Bolt over the barricade and keep moving. Come on. Just let the let the set design do the talking. Why do you gotta explain everything to me? I think it would be way more artful to just let the world do the storytelling. Uh, I'm pretty happy with this guy the way this guy looks at the moment. I'm alright with that. Uh, we're gonna level up a few things. Uh, definitely gonna level up a few things. Uh, we have four points to spend. We're going to be mainly, I guess, using Disruptor Ammo at this point. Although I'd like to get the Incendiary Ammo pretty quickly. So maybe that's something we'll do. We'll purchase that rank, and then we'll get Incendiary up and running as well, so I'll have the options. And then with the remote remaining point, we're going to get the first level of Combat Mastery. We get 10% health, 3% weapon damage. I like weapon damage. 20% uh, Storm Speed, I don't care and 20% Paragon Renegade, so that's going to multiply this bar right here. Uh, one of the smart changes that they made from Mass Effect 1 to 2 is not having Paragon and Renegade as actual skills, which were Charm and Intimidate respectively, because uh, that's not so much fun. Anyway, here we go. Uh, so we're going to... We're playing against mechs, apparently. So we're going to use this... You know what I want to do, actually? I want to... Uh, check my powers here. Uh, we're going to move that there. 
And we're going to move Flashbang here so I can have these powers quickly on the 1, 2, and 3 keys. And I think these are the two powers I'll use the most actively, so it's good to have them here. Away we go. Let me try this. Uh, you can see how the, the mech got electrified from the disruptor ammo. And now we're gonna try this thing. See how well it works. Yes. Well, I mean, they're unprotected, but that worked pretty well. Yeah. So one interesting detail about mechs in this game is that they... If you kill them with a headshot, Coast is clear. they explode. Uh, this guy is not exploding, so I guess I didn't kill him with a headshot. Um, so that that's use that's interesting to note because I mean these small mechs you get a small explosion. These big mechs over here, you get like a borderline nuclear explosion when you kill them with a headshot. It's very entertaining. By the way. Once again, a comment on the incredible brutality of this game compared to the first one. I mean, look at this. I, mean, I have to assume that they couldn't quite express what they wanted to in the first game. Oh, a grenade launcher. Move your mouse over the weapon bar and then the grenade launcher icon. Okay. There you go. One floor. I didn't actually mean to press it there. Hurry, get to the door. Run. This is an effective way of teaching me the mechanics. About sprinting and stuff like that. Max closing in on your position? Oh no. I do like that choice from the uh, game developers to just leave me alone for a bit. Because I've had Miranda yapping in my ear this entire game. Uh, so it's nice to get a little bit of free time. Oh, this game. Uh, we are playing a game of memory, I guess. Uh, start. I still remember the patterns here. Wow. I kind of, like, there are common, like, arrangements, and I'm, I remember some of the common arrangements. The cost of this project is Yeah, yeah, so just a quick reminder, we did a lot of side missions in Mass Effect 1, and a good number of the side missions in Mass Effect 1, uh, they spend a lot of time explaining just how awful Cerberus is. Um, at this point, Shepard doesn't know that he's in a Cerberus facility, he's going to find out that, find that fact out later. Uh, but where does the boss get his money? We can assume he gets it through illicit means. Mm -hmm. In an effort to accelerate the process, we've moved from simple organic reconstruction of the subject to biosynthetic fusion. Initial results show promise. Yeah, well, we have biosynthetic fusion, so... Yeah, maybe those eyes that the elusive man has are just uh, optional upgrades. Hi! Uh, I think you're in trouble. I don't think I can help you. Hey, buddy. Bye. Log update. I can't figure Miranda out. As project director, she should be ecstatic at all the progress we've made. But she's still the same old Ice Queen. Maybe she's worried Shepard might become the new favorite. Or maybe she is just a pure cold-hearted bitch. Uh, that's rude language. How dare you? Looks pretty nifty out there. Is this the first window that we've seen to the outside? Oh, hey, it's Jacob. What's up, dude? Uh, what did I do to do here? There you go. What are you doing here? Thought you were still a work in progress. Who the hell are you? 
Are you with Miranda? Yeah, sorry. I forgot this is all new to you right now. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for- Hostiles detected. Damn it! Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. Um... I mean, just a few questions. No, why are they attacking? No. I mean, this is probably the only question I would ask. What's with the mechs? Security. Usually they fight for us. Somebody must have hacked them. That should be impossible. Unless you've got access. You've got to get you out of here, Shepard. All right. Uh, the, these things I wouldn't say. Let's go. It's your station, Jacob. I'll follow you. First step, let's finish off these metal bastards. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit him with the good stuff. Oh, yeah. This is the sequence that teaches us about biotics. And... Uh, let's see if I can do this. I think I threw it too far. So this game is going to keep spawning mechs here until I use Jacob's pull ability because this section will not let me progress until we have uh, shown the game that we understand what pull is. So okay, fine game. We'll use his pull. Are you happy? There you go. Now the game will leave me. Go let me proceed. Ready to get the hell off this station? Um, yes, but first. Before we go anywhere, I need some answers. Sure. What do you want to know? I think the shepherd turned out all right. Again, the eyes are a bit squinty, but we'll live with it. Um, uh, who are you? What's your job here? Depends on who you ask. That's not an answer. I'm top lieutenant, but I'm just a soldier. I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Usually a lot more dull than this. Is he no speaking through his teeth? Unless it's target practice. It seems like his teeth are not separating very much when he speaks. Uh, and who is Miranda? When I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? There was some gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. Okay. Um, what's going on here? Do you know anything about this attack? Who's behind it? What they're after? Damn if I know. I was getting ready for some shut-eye. Then BAM! Bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting at us. I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. You'd need top security access to hack all the mechs. Are his eyes cross-eyed? Um... You said they spent two years rebuilding me? How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Dude, I went Anywhere through atmospheric re-entry. Project Lazarus was different. In a suit of armor. Cutting edge technology. I mean, come on, man. Give, cut me a break. Cut me a break. What do you mean? Cloning? Cybernetics? No, I'm cross-eyed. details. You'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. But they still yeah. stuck cybernetics into me. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. Uh, this dialogue is mainly uh, aimed at the character. Uh, sorry, not into the character, into the player rather than the character. This is letting the player feel reassured that they're still Commander Shepard, despite the decision taken by the writers to kill you off in the first five minutes of the game. What can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two years. All the top scientists best technology money could buy. Uh, all right, crew. The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? 
Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Yeah. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. Oh, jeez. Everyone else, including the non-alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. And this question doesn't seem super relevant, but we'll ask it anyway. You know what any of them are doing now? Like, why would he know, know that? Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. Also irrelevant, but I want to I wanna say it anyway. They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. All right, let's What's get out of here. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best to check. Can... Check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell? Never mind. You need to get him out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. I think I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. Answers directly to Miranda. Come on. The service tunnels are this way. All right, let's go. I think Jacob probably has a point or two, right? Yeah, there we go. Um, so barrier is not going to be unlocked for a good long while. So we just have to work with these. Uh, and frankly, pull is not going to be super useful in my opinion most of the time. We're going to invest mainly here, I think. And that'll be fine. We'll lay down our first save game here. Um... Yeah, we'll keep going. They've seen it. Damn it, Wilson. The whole station is crawling with mechs. I'm doing the best I can. Away we go. They found me. Help. Wilson, where are you? Server room B. Hurry. They're out of control. The ability to slow down time is is really unfair. Uh, Wilson, I know you're in trouble. I mean, jeez, dude. Physical reconstruction of subject is complete, but we still need to evaluate all mental and neurological functions. Our orders were clear. Make Commander Shepard who he was before the explosion. The same mind, the same morals, the same personality. If we alter his identity in any way, if he's somehow not the man he used to be, the Lazarus project will have failed. I refuse to let that happen. Yeah, so I think they make a really big point of like hitting that topic and just like re reassuring the player. So I don't know, once again, are, do they not trust players to just go with the story and, and figure it out? Or were a lot of players or play testers confused by this? Oh, hey, Wilson. What's up, man? Uh, how you doing? Bastards got me in a leg! We need to get off this station. I'm not going anywhere until someone fixes my leg. Should be some Metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the Metagel from the first aid station on the wall. Uh, left shift. Unity. Here we go. There you go. I got that mapped. Thanks, Shepard. Although I might change the mapping later. I thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now. Huh? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Good question. Were you listening? I came here to try and fix this. We were listening. That's Besides, why we detected I was shot. the. How do you explain that? The gap here. Uh, I, I don't trust any of you yet. That's correct. That's the right answer. And by the way, just speaking of the power mapping, I think power mapping was a thing... It did, I'm 100% sure it was a thing you can do in Mass Effect 1 as well, but I didn't do it much. I, I, I tended to use the pause screen a great deal more than the, um, the map powers. I'm going to try to use the map powers a lot more. It's something I got used to from playing Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. Uh, where your multiplayer characters only have three powers in the first place, so you just use the one, two, and three buttons. 
and uh, it's it's pretty fun. It's more fluid, and I'm gonna try to do it more and more. I will um, probably still pause time to use my squad mates' powers, which will probably be a lot anyway. You're all strangers to me. Let's get someplace safe. Then we'll sort out whose fault it is. And then I'll kill him. Shepherd, we need to find Miranda. We can't leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. Honestly, like... This is not what I would say, but she tried to help me. Uh, I have no idea what her motivations are. Either way, we can't help her. Also, a thing I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Is about the most accurate thing I can say here. Haven't known her long enough to trust her. Correct. This project was Miranda's baby. She'd never sabotage it. Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few... We can overload the canisters to clear a path. Like, so that dialogue from Wilson is so calm and collected. It's just so weird. Uh, Wilson has overload. We're going to use it. The game requires us to use it. That's it. Let's get out of here. So the game, like, okay, we took him down. Interrupted a cutscene to teach me how to use overload. Will you trust me? Just to start another cutscene. Time, Jacob. We won't make it if he's expecting a this shot is not, back. This is not not the greatest. The boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus project. You couldn't have done this storytelling at some other point or in some other way. Controlled by Cerberus. Fucking Cerberus. I think I ran into Cerberus a few times while I was investigating Saren. Some kind of more than a few times. Right? There are a bunch of mad scientists. Uh, the Alliance wants people to believe. Scumbags. But there's more to it. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. You're dodging the point. Look, I'd be suspicious too. I am suspicious. Right now we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. At least you're honest. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. Who is the elusive man? The elusive man? Is he in charge of all this? Yeah. That's not his real name, of course. Nobody knows who he really is. Unless you read the comics. The Alliance used for him. Kind of stuck. Also... What would have been fantastic is if in the subtitles there, Shepard said Elusive Man, E-L-U-S-I-V-E. -E, because that's what you would guess in the first time. Like, the word elusive doesn't even exist in common usage. Uh, with an I-L-L. -L. I don't even know if it's a real word. But Shepard, upon hearing it for the first time, would say Elusive Man. I can't believe they missed that opportunity for a little bit of something. Humor, explanation. Yeah, I'm not working for Cerberus, sir. They killed my best friend from the last game, Admiral Kohoku. I don't care what they did or what you say. I'm not working with terrorists. You can tell it to the boss. But after we've said it, we got Two Renegade, one Paragon, minus one Medigel, plus one Medigel. Okay. Oh, this one. Alright. Uh, come on. And what's the last one? There we go. I have to do it again because I ran into a I ran into a thing. Okay, fine. I guess I'll just wait until you give me the option that I need, which you just did. Okay, fine. Nine hundred credits. I'm rich. Uh, never mind the 330,000 that I got from the last game for being rich. That 900 will really come in handy. We've been spotted. I, I was pressing spacebar, which is the button that you press in Mass Effect 1 to bring up the screen. Nice firing. Impact. Impact. Still not used to this global cooldown. Let's go this way. I can't upgrade my. I'm in, I guess I'm in combat, or maybe it doesn't let you upgrade when you have Wilson. Whoops. 
see. Excuse me. I gotta stay here and just hang out for a second. The... The health regeneration is also way faster in this game than in the previous game, so not only... See how that works. Yeah, you see. Well, again, I want. I'll wait to see how well it works against unarmored enemies. And if it works as effectively against armored characters, that's when we'll know we made a good choice with flashbang. It's a choice we can change later, but I mean, I hopefully it's it's as useful an ability as I hope it is. Because the other option would have been something like an active power. I mean, it is an active power, by the way. But it's hopefully an active power that synchronizes with, with what I'm trying to do as a soldier. Which is mainly shoot stuff. So if I use flashbang, if it stuns enemies sufficiently, I should be able to just pop up and shoot them, which is fun. But a lot of the other, fla you know, active powers, powers with cooldowns, which is most of them, almost all of them, uh, they get in the way of me using Adrenaline Rush, and Adrenaline Rush is one of the very best abilities in the game. AKA Despite dead. the extent of the physical trauma, Wilson assures me subject is salvageable. The Lazarus project will proceed as planned. You hear that? We're salvage. I also feel like Miranda's like personal recordings scattered on random terminals around the facility. Uh, not the greatest storytelling device in the world. This looks like some kind of launch bay facility. Let's get some more ammo. And let's get out of here. Come on, through here. We're almost at the Miranda, but you are Holy shit. Dead? What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. My job. She she's so like deadpan in that delivery. Um so, our Shepard in the previous game was very Paragon, uh, lawful good-ish, um, believes in, like, the rules, believes the game is fair. We'll see how that evolves over the course of the trilogy, but for the moment... Even if you're sure, did he deserve that welcome? He sabotaged the security systems, killed my staff, and he would have killed us. How do you know? Are you sure about that, Miranda? We've known Wilson for years. What if you're wrong? I'm never wrong. I thought you'd have learned that by now, Jacob. I like how, like, she takes as an axiom her infallibility. That's not really a great way to win an argument, in my opinion. If you say so. No, What's not if you day? say so. We get on the shuttle and what go. What the hell kind of? My boss wants to speak to you. What kind of argument is that? If you man. say so. I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. You have a well, cause? Since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, commander? I didn't know mad scientists had a cause. Where the hell were you? Um, no, I, I, let's start with other survivors. That's what I would care about first. What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. You're a monster. We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. That's what Shepard would do. Don't you get it? The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. It's just a few mechs. Right. We all knew the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. We can kill them. We've been killing them pretty easily so far. I mean, we might run out of thermal clips, but then again, uh, I, I don't even get the point of why we have thermal clips. Didn't we have, like, better technology previously? I mean, apart from, like, the retcon of... Not retcon, but, like, the introduction of thermal clips and the explanation in the lore as to why they're necessary, 
even if we take that at face value, like what does creating thermal clips even add to the game? I don't know. I mean, because in the previous game, you had to stop shooting at some points because of overheating uh, and because of decreasing accuracy with prolonged bursts. So there was a mechanism to stop you from shooting constantly. And here they've introduced another mechanism to stop you from shooting constantly. But replacing one mechanism by another, what was the point of that from a game design point of view? Uh, where are you taking me? Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. Uh, and, and what if I say fuck you? I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle of the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. Oh, why don't I just shoot you and take it? I can do that. Where the hell were you anyway? Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Good question. Besides trying to save your life? How do we know that? Wilson figured out I was helping you and he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. I mean, obviously. I'm not cool with it, though. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. And there's a line from Yaro. In your case. Come on. That line will come back. I have had enough of blank to last a lifetime.